Hey everyone, welcome to Journey into Hopefulness. I'm Jen and we are reading chapter 21 of the 100 Simple Secrets of Happy People today and it is titled Don't Be Overprotective. None of us wants our loved ones to experience any harm, but we have to let them lead their lives. Spending our time worrying and trying to prevent them from doing what they want is a real risk in itself and will keep us worrying all the time. Everything, absolutely everything, has a risk associated with it. Some people become racked with fear over the possible dangers for themselves, their loved ones, and their children. The danger, as Franklin Roosevelt once suggested, is that the fear can become worse than the thing feared. Not leaving the house or keeping the kids from playing a sport or avoiding other things because we are afraid is no solution for possible danger. It is only a different danger. While we certainly need to make sensible decisions, we need to consider the downside of avoiding the things that make life worthwhile. Studies of thousands of parents found that there were negatives associated with being very protective, including increased time spent worrying and a generally higher level of stress. In sum, being more protective does not offer people more life satisfaction or contentment. Now let's go back to the title. Don't be overprotective. As parents of erased children, we need to apply that to ourselves, to our lives. Now let's read that first sentence and apply it to ourselves. None of us wants to experience any harm but we have to lead our lives. We have to live our lives. Spending our time worrying is a real risk and it only leads to more worrying. Everything, absolutely everything, has risk associated with it. And one of the riskiest things for us to do as human beings, well, it's to open our hearts back up to love and to open our minds to the full truth. Now, as parents who have been blocked from the love of our children, we may become overprotective of our hearts and, in effect, imprisoning it. Losing a child has to be the most devastating experience that a human can face. And we begin to live with a proverbial hole in our heart from, for the long term, and then our focus becomes that loss, that hole that no one, no one but our child can fill. But in order to live, we must risk allowing our focus to shift to the rest of our heart. To allow the love that's harbored there to overflow outward. And to allow the healing love of others to flow inward through that hole. We have to risk the pain of healing in order to be truly ready for our children to return. But what about our children who have been blocked from our love? They have a hole in their hearts as well that can't be filled by any other than you or me. Their hurting is evident by the anger, rage, depression, and denial that they display towards us. Because the pain from the fear that they have of facing the possible truth about what happened to them has become greater than their fear of the bad parent. They're told that hole in their heart can be filled by another. When in actuality, the other person is just a band-aid offering temporary cover to a wound that was never cared for and never allowed to heal properly. Some of these children will choose to break through their overprotective walls that they have built around their heart and they will risk change to discover their truth. Now, many of you know who Tony Robbins is. He's a life coach, an author. He said that Change happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change. And yet, sadly, some of our children will choose to remain in their fear and in their anger and eventually in their regret. They'll choose to continue avoiding the one thing that will aid in their healing. Now, as parents of these children, we have to be prepared for either of these situations to happen. So please continue to work on your emotional, physical, and spiritual healing. Spend time focusing on yourself as a whole instead of worrying about the woulda, coulda, shouldas of your whole. You are so much more than your loss. 
Life is meant to live. Do it safely, but do it now. Till next time, everyone. Make it your best week ever. Bye.